Hey guys, so King World just announced that the family member of Jaguar Wright, I believe maybe one of the cousins, if I'm not mistaken, is not going to be on his show anymore because she canceled, canceled at the last moment she was going to be on today, but called him up at the last moment and said she had to study or something and she would not be on. And maybe it's for the good because... Jaguar's family also need a rest from all this stuff. You know, they need to now concentrate on their mama, getting her um, right, getting Sam all adjusted, and just get off of social media for a little bit. Because for the last couple of years, it's just been about Jaguar, Jaguar. So everybody needs a break, including the public. Be tired, honey. Be tired. So King World said... She canceled out 30 minutes ago, which I guess was probably maybe an hour ago, which was late cancellation. But hey, that's the nature of the beast, right? When these people make a promise for interviews, because we are all human beings, we can change our minds. There's no contract. There's no payment. There's nothing but going on their word. And if they fall back and say they can't do it, well, you just got to... You know, just accept it and move on with the next interview or the next program that you have set up. But what she could have said to him, because they had her on, on the phone and she was, you know, canceling the live interview. And I guess they could have asked her, how is the mother doing? Since she wasn't going to be coming live anymore, at least she could have put out a statement about how the mother is doing because she knows the public is concerned and especially since we've seen the mother put out evicted along with Jaguar and Sam you know we kind of concerned about mama how mama doing and um, so I feel as though the young woman could have at least let King World know how the mother is doing how she is adjusting what time maybe she got in and if the ride was uncomfortable those are general questions if anybody went up there to Shreveport to bring her back, or if she just rode the bus with Sam, just the two of them. You know, all those details, I felt as though the young woman could have filled in since she wasn't going to have the interview. You know, the live interview, she could have filled them in on over the phone, just with certain details that she thought or he thought the public would like to know. So that's the only thing I would say that maybe I would have asked a couple of questions over the phone just to inform the public. Even if it's a one line, mom is fine. I feel that would have been enough to satisfy certain questions the public may have. You know, mom got in around six o'clock and she's resting, but she's fine. She's adjusting and she's not crying her eyes out over Jaguar. You know, something like that. Just to put the public at ease because everybody's been following the story so that's the only thing i would have uh, done different to ask her maybe one or two questions over the phone king world said he was contacted by her she's the one who wanted to talk about what happened within the family and jaguar and he didn't pursue her at all she's the one who came to him but I guess what he's got to realize is that when I heard the two girls and the mom talking about the situation on Sean Devivay's show, the mom really didn't want to talk too much, give too much detail. And the girls were giving the details. A mom was holding back because she mentioned something about a black male and then she held her tongue. She held her tongue on that. She didn't give additional information because she really didn't want to get into it because um, the Tasha K surviving Jaguar Wright when Tasha K did that show, mom was not involved in that. Only the two girls, only her daughters and uh, Sam and somebody else. I think Sam's father, they were involved in that show, but. The mother was not involved. Lachelle. And so 
she must have talked her daughters out of going on King World Show because once they come out and put out a statement, it's not going to die down. It's not going to be that they put out a statement today and, oh, well, tomorrow is going to be the topic and then it dies down. No, <laughs> you know, it lives on and on and on. It's People are going to make videos about the interview and talk about it for weeks, if not months. Like what happened with Tasha K and the interview with those girls. So sometimes you don't know why things happen, but sometimes they happen for a good reason. In this case, I would say maybe it was for a good reason to just let this family have a little bit of breaking period, a little rest period where everybody zips it, nobody's talking, just for the healing process to start to take place. I'm sure it would have been a good thing for King World's platform. It would have brought a lot of viewers, but you got to think about the overall picture with... Sam, the mother, Jaguar, and the entire family, we were on the outside looking in. And I know if it was my family, I would have told everybody to stop talking. Once my family member got arrested, in this case it was Jaguar, I would have shut it down. I would have said nobody talks to anybody on social media. Let's let this thing die down. There was enough attention called when Jaguar was in her mania and talking to everybody on everybody's platform, she was airing all the business and making up stuff, and it was enough scandal. Now that she's in jail, let this thing die down. Nobody does any type of talking. Nobody used to talk on anybody's platform. So in a way, I think it was a good thing that whoever it was who was supposed to come on did not come on because there's, you know, you, you got to learn when things should die down. And for young ladies, I guess they're still learning that. You don't put all your family business out there and you have to know when to stop talking. So it's good that whoever it was he was supposed to interview, it's good they did not come on. So King Burl is going through all the emails, the back and forth that he did with this young woman. Now, I don't know who it was, but it was one of the young ladies that we heard the other day, Michelle's daughters or somebody else. But he just wanted to let his audience know the status of what was going on because he was expecting and they were expecting an interview at 830. It was supposed to start at 830. And it never got started because the young lady canceled. Emails back and forth. And he said that one of them said that um, he was reading, you know, the notes. And he said on an adult level, she would come on if they can have a conversation on an adult level. And I guess she was talking about a panel. And he was saying, what do you mean? My panel is not an adult they're not adults, but I don't think that's what she was saying. I think what she meant to say was that she didn't want an argument. She didn't want a back and forth. She didn't want the, the heavy bantering. She just wanted to come out maybe and tell her point of view without everybody else interjecting and pointing fingers and saying, well, this should have happened and that should have happened. And how come you guys didn't get your mama sooner? And why didn't you stand up to drag more? How come she was taking all your mama's money and nobody said anything? And how come you guys didn't go get her sooner? And how come she was given power of attorney and abusing the money and nobody went to court to get her off from being power of attorney? You know, a lot of questions that I'm sure she would have found uncomfortable. So I'm sure some of those questions were posed to her or she thought about it and, you know, and maybe she felt as though it would have been too overwhelming for her to explain the family's stance on a number of those questions. Maybe she took a look at the overall picture and saw where it would not be advantageous for her to come on anybody's show. Because, guys, remember, the family's trying to heal. 
what Jaguar has been going through for the past two years or so, the family have been going through the same exact emotional ride with her because Jaguar is a family member and everything negative that she does affects the family. So I'm sure at this point, this is a breathing period for them. They finally get a chance to not be in social media and to just relax and take a breath. And if anyone comes on social media right now, it's only going to stir the pot and they're never going to have any peace. So I think it's a good idea for none of them to get on to social media. I know Lachelle came on a couple of days ago, but I was wondering if she should have even done that. She and her daughters came on because by her coming on with those girls, we got a clear sense that there's more to this than meet the eye. And even I had a couple of questions. One of the big questions I have is, what about this blackmailing that she mentioned, but then she stopped short of explaining if Jaguar was blackmailing anyone in the family? Because she said she even blackmailed, and then she stopped. So no, it's not a good idea for any member of that family to get onto social media right now if they hope for this thing to die down. So the same young woman who was supposed to do the interview with King World Tonight, the family member of Jaguar, he recorded her. And this is what she had to say. I'm not a troll. I'm Jackie's cousin. And her real cousin, not one that she's making to be family that's not really family. So it sounds to me like if she is not one of the young ladies that came on Sean Davy Way show the other day. This sounds like a totally different person. So King World said, no, 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 no. He didn't even want anybody to come on the live. He just wanted to have a conversation over the phone with this young woman. But she insisted on coming on the live and wanted the panel to ask some questions. So I guess she must have changed her mind because she's not coming anymore. She was to come on tonight at 8 30 but i'm sure he is disappointed he sounds disappointed um i'm talking about king world he sung disappointed that the interview did not take place because he did make an announcement that the show was going to take place at 8 30 tonight so that's it in a nutshell concerning the interview with jaguar's cousin family member who was supposed to interview with King World at 8.30 tonight. She canceled. He's a little disappointed. But life goes on, doesn't it? That's the way of the world. You know, people are allowed to change their minds. So what's the latest news on Jaguar Wright? Well, word is, word on the street, is that she rejected signing that piece of paper that will get her back to Texas sooner than later. I guess she's in no hurry to get back to Texas to be tried or some type of verdict to be handed down because maybe there are more charges that she knows of. It could be that she is well aware when she gets back to Texas, all the pending charges that's waiting for her because a lot of people have been saying over the months that she's got a lot of other charges outstanding and she's got bails that she skipped out on and so maybe they're correct. And maybe she don't want to get back to Texas in a hurry to face the music. I did call the jail tonight, and this is what a prison officer said about her status. Thank you for calling the Jim Paris Correctional Facilities. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Good night. I'm calling to find out about Jaguar Wright. Her last name is W-R-I-G-H-T. I'm calling to find out about her status. Yeah, she's waiting for Texas to come here. She was offered a waiver of extradition to find she didn't. So she did not sign the waiver of extradition. She refused. That is a thing that they signed saying that they want Texas to come get them. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Right. Bye-bye. So there you have it, folks. I think Jaguar did not sign because she's working on an angle. So I look up, what does 
waiver of an extradition mean? And I looked it up on Google. And it says, a prisoner is allowed to waive extradition. This means the prisoner is giving up his or her right to an extradition hearing. In other words, the prisoner wants to be returned to the demanding state. So Google search went on to say, if you waive extradition, the demanding state only has 30 days to come get you. Generally, only a court of record can hold a hearing on the waiver of extradition, but on the certain circumstances, a justice of the peace may also hold the hearing. A person may also waive extradition to negotiate a lower sentence in the demanding state. Finally, a person may waive extradition because they do not want to spend up to 90 days in custody waiting to see if a governor's warrant will be procured. So it sounds like if this has some tactical strategies to it. I don't know what angle Jaguar is working. Maybe she did not want to sign the extradition because could be she's working on a deal with the state of Texas. So this part concerns the governor's warrant, and it says, according to Google, once a complaint has been made, if the magistrate determines the person is a fugitive from justice and the prisoner is now within his jurisdiction, the magistrate will issue a warrant to hold the prisoner as a fugitive from justice. So it looks like if Jaguar is going to have to go through several proceedings, like the writ of habeas corpus, also the governor's warrant. So the writ of habeas corpus orders the custodian of an individual in custody to produce the individual before the court to make an inquiry concerning his or her detention to appear for a prosecution or to appear to testify. State courts may issue such writs to prisoner custodians to produce federal prisoners. So this is a further explanation of the issue of the governor's warrant of arrest. And according to Google, it says, if the governor decides that the demand should be complied with, he shall sign a warrant of arrest, which shall be sealed with the state seal and be directed to any peace officer or other person whom he may think fit to entrust with the execution thereof. So we know Jaguar is going to be in prison a couple of months. It's going to give Sam and the mother a little reprieve. They can breathe a sign of relief that they are free, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, Sam and the mother is free at last. I'm telling you guys, won't he do it? I mean, people have been praying for Jaguar and Sam to go back home to the families, to the relatives, where they can be properly be cared for. In any event, guys, don't forget to hit all the buttons. The like, the share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can donate to the channel if you choose to through the super thanks. So Jaguar Wright is waiting for the state of Texas to come get her. YouTubers, I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.